Hey guys, we're back with one of my favorite dishes, bakali polo with lamb shank. Uh, we're going to start off with making the lamb shanks and then we're going to go to making our bakali polo. First we want to get our lamb shanks nicely cleaned out. And when I say cleaned out is where you give them a little rinse, pat dry. And this is optional at this point is I'm going to clean the bone portion, uh, cutting about an inch to two inches down below the lower portion. This is going to help separate the meat from the bone once it's finished braising. I'm going right behind the tenants right here and just doing a clean cut so the tenants are going to get nice and pulled away from the bone. You'll see at the end how beautiful they look. Taking my knife, just gently scraping, getting um, basically just cleaning up the bone for any loose tenants and fat. Uh, you can disregard any extra uh, fat and tenants down below like I'm doing, as you see, running my knife. Uh, be careful, don't keep the knife away from your wrist and your hand when you're doing this. And you see right there, beautifully cleaned up. You, know, you don't have to work too hard to get that nice, but you got about an inch and a half to two inches from the bottom portion. After we're done with that, is we're gonna sear up, sear them up in a hot skillet. I'm using a cast iron pot. Um, anything that can just hold the heat is will work in this scenario. Even a regular aluminum pan. Just make sure you have a lid for it because we're gonna let these slow cook for a while. At this point, I'm just trying to get some color on each side. And once that's achieved, is uh, I'm gonna start piling on my onions. See, just a light color in itself. It's gonna braise further along as we go. So just thickly cut those onions, don't need to be too fine. Uh, once we got that piled up, we can start putting our spices. Very simple in this scenario. It's basically the lamb shanks are uh, seasoned with turmeric, salt, pepper, and that's about it. That's all you really need for this because that lamb itself is just going to bring out a lot of flavor. And you don't really want to cover up too much of it. So the reason we add the turmeric while it's searing versus into a liquid form is we want to get a little bit of cook, that, cook off that turmeric flavor in the sear process. And believe it or not, once turmeric hits those onions, it just turns those onions to a different flavor altogether. It's a beautiful aroma. Uh, if you grew up with it, you can recognize it from a mile away, the smell. Look at the color. Alright, so we just got a light sear. The onions are um, kind of burnt on the edge. Don't need to caramelize them. Just give them a little bit of color. And once we're there, is we're going to add our tomato paste. And we get to want our tomato paste kind of um, cooked too, but like a little bit of a sear on it itself. Not super dark, we get a little bit darker. That's probably like two or three minutes in the, in the pot. I'm doing some cracked black pepper for taste. You can always adjust the seasoning of pepper at the end. Not a big deal at this point. Added my garlic cloves, chopped. Of course, we like to use fresh always. And now I'm gonna add my water. Now what I'm trying to achieve here is get those lamb shanks a little over 50% covered in water. Um, obviously, you can see how hot my um, but Dutch oven is. It's doing a great job. And we're gonna throw in some bay leaves. Bay leaves are gonna add a nice little balance of flavor. And this is optional, I add a sprig of dill. You don't have to, you can also add um, a little pinch or two of dry dill or no dill at all. The rice is gonna have that dill flavor, but I feel like, I don't know, it's like the bouquet of it on my lamb shank. And so when that's all simmering away, as you see, nice and slowly, you're gonna wanna throw the lid and we're gonna revisit it in an hour and a half to two hours to do a flip. All right, bakali polo time, guys, my favorite rice. So what I'm using here is a fresh dill mixed with some dry dill. You can use either or. I'm doing the two mix. I'll put down the recipe below. Uh, I have some actually defrosted uh, fava beans. You can use lime beans. Uh, try to look for fava beans, fresh or frozen. Basmati rice, of course, the king of all rice. Saffron water. There's a video down below with a link of how to make that saffron water. And obviously a little bit of an optional choice is uh, we can put some garlic cloves in our rice. I'll we'll show you how that comes out. It's beautiful, nice and roasted. So starting off our rice, of course we're going to take our rice, soak it for uh, two or three hours or 24 hours, drain it off once it's soaked, get our water boiling, throw some salt down, got instructions down below about the portions you want to use, get our water to a boil, throw some olive oil in there too. 
Now, it's been an hour and a half. You want to check on your lamb shanks. As you see, uh, they're swimming away, fairly reduced. You want to flip them over. So we got another hour and a half of cooking on the other side until they're fork tender. Throw that lid on. Here we go. And because we're using some fresh, you want to chop them up. You don't have to go too fine. Just uh, do a bit of a rough to medium chop here. You can see what I'm trying to get here. I'm not trying to go super fine like we're making gourmet sabzi. Just uh, you know, a decent chop. Once our rice is to a boil, as you see it's rolling, we're going to add our soaked basmati rice to it. And we're going to let that cook off until they get al dente and transparent opaque. Now, because I'm using fresh dill, I'm going to add it at the last minute. It helps it disperse throughout the rice. You don't have to do that, but I like to use it at this stage. Uh, we're just going to rinse off our rice, cool it down. And once that's done, is we're going to get our pot ready for tadik and the, re the rest of the cooking of that rice. Throw down some oil. With that oil, we're going to add a few spoonfuls of tum um, sorry, saffron. Put our rice layer down. Mix it thoroughly with the uh, fava beans. These are... Uh, They've been defrosted, but they don't have to be fully defrosted, to be honest with you. The fava beans can be slightly defrosted at this point. And what I'm doing is just trying to mix that saffron water and oil all together with the rice mixture to build a good tadik layer. And from here, it's pretty much building layers like a lasagna. What we're going to do is basically put down that rice, here's some dill and fava beans, and build the layers up. So it's rice, fava beans, dry dill building those layers. We're going to do about four or five layers until we're all out of rice and fava beans. And that's going to go for a minute. Uh, obviously, I'm fast forwarding at this portion, so you guys don't have to sit around watching me do this forever. I throw out my garlic cloves inside the rice with the skin on. Remember, this, this is uh, garlic with the skin. Uh, once that's all set, we're going to throw our paper towel on top to retain any extra moisture. You can use a kitchen towel as well. Put the lid on and crank it to a medium high till we get some steam going. Look, we got some steam now after a few minutes. We're going to crank it to a low or simmer down to a low. And then let that go for another hour and a half. And meanwhile, it's been an hour and a half. We're going to spoon some saffron water on top of those lamb shanks. They're ready to go. Uh, just going to let them sit with that saffron water for another 10 to 15 minutes. But they're fork tender at this point. Check with your fork. If you're a little bit bigger lamb shank, you might need to go another 20, 30 minutes. But if they're fork tender, you're pretty much at a quarter of the way of the liquid you had before. Uh, you're good to go. Those are ready to eat right away. Okay, at this point, it's been an hour and a half. Our rice is ready to flip. Uh, you guys see me do this. This is the moment that um, many people dread and many people love. Doing the flip, seeing how your tide eat came out. Bam! Let's check it out. Come on, it's hot. Ooh, look at that. You can actually see in the side profile those layers of rice and dill and fava beans. Lovely, look at that Tadik. If I can get a steady camera one day, you'll see a better view. But, got some golden top, you see some dill peeking out. Oh, my favorite part is where the fava beans get crispy on the bottom. Oof, yeah, fava bean Tadik for you. Let's see a side profile shot for you guys. There we go. That's what we like to see. Beautiful layers, fluffy white rice, not sticky. There's our beautiful lamb, ready, so tender, fall off the bone. Look at the bottoms up there, clean, super clean. There's our plates, just ready to chow down. Hey guys, enjoy. Uh, don't forget, click subscribe. I got more videos coming out soon. Thank you. Take care.